Now to question number three. A mason hired a laborer to fill a cubic rubber tank of length 1.2 meters with water. Now the laborer used a container of volume 54 liters. If the mason agreed to pay 1.75 Ghana cities for a container of water fetched, calculate A in liters the volume of the tank, B the number of containers of water that can fill the tank, and then C the amount of money paid to the laborer to fill the tank with water. So now let's put down the information we derive from the question. Now from the question, we have a cubic rubber tank which has a length of 1.2 meters. So we have length of cubic tank to be 1.2 meters. And then the Libra used the container of volume 54 liters. So we have volume volume of container and that is 54 liters and then thirdly the mason agreed to pay 1.75 Ghana cities for a container of water fetched so we can say that amount amount paid per container or better still per container of water fetched is 1.75 Ghana cities now let's try to picture the whole idea of this question so a mason hired a laborer to fill a cubic rubber tank of length 1.2 meters with water so we have a cubic tank and you know that for a cube we have all the size to be equal so let's say this is the height we have this to be the length and then we have this to be the breadth so we are going to assume that for this sketch all the sides of this cube are equal so because all the sides of this cube are equal the length is equal to the breadth and that is also equal to the height so equals 1.2 meters now the laborer used the container of volume 54 liters to fill this tank so we are going to have a container here which has a capacity of 54 liters so that is what the laborer used in filling up this cubic rubber tank and then the mason agreed to pay 1.75 Ghana cities for each container of water the laborer pours into this tank. So it means that the mason will pay 1.75 per container. So 1.75 Ghana cities per container. So basically this is the whole idea of this question so let's try to solve a b and c so a we are asked to calculate in liters the volume of the tank we are going to find or calculate in liters the volume of the tank now from the question we have been told that the length of the cubic tank is 1.2 meters and because a cubic tank or a cube has all its size to be equal thus the length is equal to the breadth is equal to the height therefore the volume of this tank is equal to l cube or better still l times l times l now we have l to be 1.2 meters so 1.2 meters times 1.2 meters times 1.2 meters now let's multiply all these three values so 1.2 times 1.2 times 1.2 gives 1.728 and then meter times meter times meter we have meter cube so basically this is the volume of 
the cubic rubber tank in meter cube. Now, what is the relationship between volume in liters and then volume in meter cube? So, 1000 liters, 1000 liters is equal to 1 meter cube. So, 1000 liters of liquid is equivalent to 1 meter cube. So if that is the case, then how many liters can fill up 1.728 meter cube? So if more, let's divide. So we have x equals, we cross multiply. So basically you are going to have 1000 liters, 1000 liters times 1.728 meter cube or divided by 1 meter cube so meter cube cancels out meter cube we are left with 1000 times 1.728 which is equal to 1728 liters so the volume in liters that will be able to fill up this tank is equal to 1728 now let's move on as we solve b so for b we are going to find the number of containers of water that can fill the tank so the number of containers the number of 54 liter containers that can fill up this tank that is what you are going to find so for b first of all we know that the volume of the tank or the volume of the cubic tank in liters is equal to 1728 and then we know that the volume of the container the volume of the container that is used to fill the cubic tank is 54 liters so if you want to find the number of containers that can fill up this cubic tank then we say that number of containers that can fill up the tank is equal to the total capacity of the cubic tank in liters which is 1728 divided by the capacity of the container which is 54 so 1728 divided by 54 that gives 32 so it means that 32 containers can fill up The cubic tank so you need 32 containers to fill up the cubic tank C we are going to find the amount of money paid to the laborer to fill the tank with water so from the question we have been told that the mason agreed the mason agreed to pay 1.75 Ghana cities for a container of water fetched now this time we've been able to solve to realize that the laborer used 32 containers to fill up the tank so if the laborer used 32 containers to fill up the tank then basically we are going to multiply 32 by 1.75 Ghana cities so if the mason agreed to pay 1.75 for one container then how much is he going to pay for 32 containers so if more less divide so we have y equals 32 times 1.75 Ghana CDs divided by 1 
so we have y to be equal to now 32 times 1.75 gives 56 so we have Ghana cities 56.00 therefore the amount of money paid to the laborer to fill up the tank is 56 Ghana cities